Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today I'll be giving you a walkthrough and tutorial of the book tracker that I've built on Google Sheets. So in my example template, I've already pre-filled in some information so that when I bring you through the dashboards, at least you can better understand how the charts work and then it's easier for you to follow along as well. We'll start off with the setup page. So over here, you'll be able to customize this tracker to fit your reading needs. I've also included written instructions as well as basic functions for those who are new to the Google Sheets platform. Moving on, you'll see that I've included different tracking measures depending on your different reading materials. So if you're like me and you enjoy reading fan fiction and comics as well, I've included things like upload status, book type as well as reading platform so you are aware of where to find your different reading materials across different sources. I've also included three separate columns where you can sort out your books based on reading labels or categories. So for my book talk girlies who like to track romance tropes or spice level, you, you can do so here. So the only thing you need to do is, as you can see the labels, you just have to change it based on what you want to track. So over here, you can type in romance trope. And over here, spice level. And you will see that these headers are reflected in the library database that I'll show you later on. The last thing I want to highlight is my rating system. For aesthetic purposes, I'm using the, the star system. However, I understand that some of you guys use the DNF system. So you can go ahead and do that. It will work just as well. Let's move on to the library tab. So over here is where you'll be storing all your reading materials. Currently, it accommodates up to a thousand books. However, if you feel like you need more space, you can just drop me a message on Etsy and I'll be able to extend the list for you for free. Currently, I'm reading Special Civil Servant on Webtoon, so I'll be using this as an example of how to fill in the database for the library tab. Sidetrack, I highly, highly recommend this if you love action and comedy. And also, side note, the artist does such an amazing job on drawing these characters to fit the female gaze. So if you have time and you're interested, I would definitely recommend that you check it out. So I've already pre-filled in the book title and the author. And you realize that I left series name blank because it doesn't belong in a series. However, if you're currently reading anything that belongs in a series like Harry Potter or Haikyuu, you can just fill in this column. Next, fill in the genre. Reading status, which is currently I'm reading. Book type is Manhua. Reading platform is Webtoon. And then reading, I'll just give it a 4 for now since it's still ongoing and early. The next thing you want to do and you want to pay special attention to is how to insert cover images. So I've already described this and given instructions in the setup tab. But over here, what you do is you will click the cell, go to insert, image, insert an image in the cell, and then drop any PNG or JPEG file here. So like so. And this is how you see cover images later in the gallery and your reviews. So over here, you'll see two other columns. One is a review column and one is a display column. So obviously, if you're going to be tracking thousands of books, you wouldn't want to review or display all. So based on the titles that you do want to review or display, you can just check them here. Next, upload status. Currently on Webtoon, it's uploading weekly. So I'll just choose weekly. However, if you're reading any fan fiction or comics that are on hiatus, you can also just choose them here or customize them in the setup tab. So total chapters that are available on Webtoon is 11 and I've read 11. So the progress bar will automatically reflect based on percentage. Started on, I'll just choose 1st of December and I completed it for the sake of this purpose. Let's choose, choose 9. So the total days will also automatically be reflected. Now, if you remember in the setup tab, I've changed two of the headers in reading labels to romance, trope, and spice levels. So they will automatically be reflected in your library tab. And whatever data that you fill in in your setup tab will be available as drop-down options, which will make your data entry for the library tab much easier. So the last thing in the library tab will be to track things like if you go on a shopping spree or you're a book collector and you want to know the price and where you bought them from, you can just do so in the last column. So apart from this, that you can actually hide 
or unhide certain cells depending on what it is that you track. If you're a new reader and you don't need to track your reading progress or any reading labels, you can just click the plus and minus signs up top and you can hide or unhide columns. Finally, the database overview will just give you a count of how many books you already have in your library, as well as how many are in your TBR and how many you've completed. The other thing would be title search. I usually just use this when I want to buy a book and I just want to double check that, that I don't have it already. You can click the drop down here to choose a title to see where it may be, or you can just type so Law Olympus, it's over here, and then it will highlight which row in yellow. Moving on to the expenses tab. So over here, if you are currently subscribed to like Webtoon or you buy coins, you can just track how much you spend on anything that is reading related. So double click the cell or just type in a date, select an amount, let's just say $5. Payment method, which you can customize in the setup tab. And then description can be anything. And then the database overview will just give you a total summary of how much you spent on reading related stuff. Okay, I went off camera to fix the alignment, so everything's in the center now. We'll be moving on to series finder. So basically over here, you'll just find every book that is in your library database that is part of a series. So you just have to click this black drop down arrow, and then you'll be able to see different titles like Harry Potter, whatever that you put under the series column will be available here for you as drop down options. So you can store up to 30 books in a series, like so. And then everything else apart from cover image, but title, author, genre, reading status will all be updated automatically as well. So moving on to reviews, there are four parts to this. One is a detailed book search that will show you not only your different genres, your reading status, but synopsis, review, and quotes. Second one is the mini gallery, which you can see on the right. A quote search, as well as the review database. So how you use this is that whatever reviews that you have, as long as you locate the drop down option, you can just change them accordingly to say poppy wall, and then it will just filter all the information based on what you've entered over here. So how to change the quotes, depending on what inspires you at a point in time, you just double click the cell here and you'll be able to select any quote. And then the title will automatically be reflected. So same thing with the gallery, as long as you're able to locate the drop down button, you'll be able to swap out different books and display them accordingly. So remember how under the master list, when we were entering special silver seven, I tick yes for review. So you'll be able to find that specific title under here. So that's easier for you. So over here, then I can just write something brief. Let's just write I'm typing, since nothing is coming to mind right now. Review it, it's great. Code, let's just write code 1. Code 2. So if I go up over here and I change this, you see the cover art as well as my review and my rating and author. So this is it for the reviews tab. Let's move on to book updates. So this is where I track my updates for fan fictions as well as webtoons. I find this super helpful because I think currently I'm reading over 50 to like 100 ongoing series and sometimes they go on hiatus and I don't even know. So I use this to track if say I really have only time to read one update per day, this is where I'll be able to plan it accordingly. So under my update log, using Special Civil Servant as an example again, I think yesterday it was chapter 11 that I read, the latest chapter, and it updated on the 8th of December. So since it's on a Sunday, I locate the Sunday tab and then I'll just click this drop down option, select this and then it will just change accordingly. Next, let's move on to the gallery tab. So if you have physical space constraints and you can't display all your stunning art covers, you can do so over here. So all you need to do is just locate the drop down chip. And then let's just go with special civil servant again. You see that it will update automatically. So if there's a specific title that you cannot find in the reading gallery, please go back to your library tab and make sure that you check the tick box under the gallery columns to be able to find it in your in your and to be able to find and display it in your gallery tab. 
Okay, the next step would be the habits tab. So if you're doing a reading challenge and you want to track how productive you've been, so this is something that will be very useful for you. So all you need to do is select a date. So 9th of December, just choose a title which you're reading. Let's just say Poppy Wall. And then you'll be able to record how many chapters or pages you've read and the time that you've spent. So maybe just write 200 pages, um, 300 minutes. And then there'll be a summary of how many hours you've spent under the database overview. The last step is the calendar tab. So this is a fully automated tab. Basically, it color codes your books, all your reading materials based on book type. And then you can choose the color coding over here. So if I want to swap out short stories with manhwas, all I need to do is just choose it over here or under the drop down. Oh, is there... Okay, let's just choose a better example. Let's swap out books with short stories. So short stories will be here, books. You see that the colors have changed automatically. And then finally, under the reading activities for the month, if you're part of a book club or if you are constantly going to the library and you want to track when you need to return your books, you can do so over here. Just choose a date. So this is December, so I'll change it to January. And then you can filter your activity type, like library activities, and then you can just write things like return books. So this will just act as a reminder task log for you to get all your activities sorted. Okay, moving on to my two favorite tabs, the monthly dashboard as well as the dashboard. Let's start with the monthly dashboard first. Basically what this does is that it will give you a summary of all your reading activities for the month. So based on whatever date that you've entered in the setup tab, the first one will follow accordingly as per what is with the calendar tab as well. So what you'll be able to see is how many books you've started, how many books you've completed, if you've bought any books recently for that month, and how much you've spent. Your most read genre as well as a reading summary based on the habits tab that you just filled in. So all the titles that you've completed will be displayed over here. And then the books that you've started will also be automatically filtered in this table. Charts also will automatically be updated based on whatever information you've entered in the library tab as well as in the habits tab. So you can track how productive you've been that month as well as you can get a breakdown of your reading materials, what type of books you've been reading, as well as the genres that you've been reading. I've included a mini checklist over here, so if you're doing any reading challenges and you want to pin your goals, you can do so over here. Finally, you can also pin a book of the month. So you can just select a title based on whatever it is that you've read. So let's just do Poppy Wall. And then this will automatically be reflected in your dashboard. So for every month, you can just pin one book and then the book of the month gallery will slowly fill in in your annual dashboard. So this dashboard is the main dashboard that will just summarize all your reading activities based on what you filled in in your library tab. The TBR list is automated based on the reading status that you put in your library tab. There is a detailed book search, so all you need to do is navigate the drop down chip, select a book title, and then everything will fill in automatically. There are two search bars, one would be for genre, one is for reading status. So you just navigate to them, select the drop down chip, and then they will automatically filter up. The final thing is custom period tracker. So if you're doing a reading challenge and you want to know how productive you've been for that period of time, you just need to double click the start date and the end date, choose two dates, and then everything else will automatically filter. And then they also come with two mini filter bars so that you know what books you've been reading and how productive you've been for that period of time. Okay, this brings me to the end of my tutorial. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you want to get the exact same template, these are all available in my Etsy shop. Link will be in the description box. So apart from pink, I also have them in blue, beige, and green. And what you'll receive is one example template, one example template which I'm currently showing you, as well as one blank template over here so that you are able to start immediately. So if any other questions, you can just drop me a message or a comment and I will reply as soon as possible. Thank you so much.